I want to do a five minute video for you. Five minutes. I've had a couple of uh, inquiries and uh, I'd like to show you perhaps my way of cutting glass tile. Uh, it's for Luke and James um, and Simon and there's John. Um, basically, um, cutting glass is, is a little bit misunderstood and I, I want to show you a couple of tools that uh, assist um, and, and different mosaics that you can use. So we'll go over to the other camera so I can uh, look down on, on what I'm doing and we'll go from there. Okay, so over to the other camera right now. So guys, look, this is a, uh, a 5M Sigma mosaic cutter. You're not all gonna have one of these, uh, but basically it's the same frame as everything else, uh, all the other Sigmas, except they've taken the uh, pads off and put rubber pads on them. So this one, bang, sits on, and you've got it basically it's level with that uh, metal cutter and this is just basically score and snap and you know very very easy to deal with as you pull back and then oh we want a little bit more adjustment up here Everything and we nicely cut that line through there. Well, obviously you can do any any shape or form on a forty five. Snapping basically uh, hot melt or uh, that their train plus. Now, sometimes you know, you've got the big thick glass, these are you know, quite heavy, heavy gauge glass. Um, same technique, exactly the same with this 5M cutter or, or snapper, makes it really easy. Done. Uh, quite a clean cut, but now of course this leaves a very sharp edge. So what I'd like to do with you guys is to show you um, angle grinders. Now everyone's using angle grinders. This is basically uh, what I would end up doing is using a variable speed angle grinder. Now that's crucial that you, you slow the blade down. Now we've got lots of odd blades here. This is a Bezatza blade, still in its packaging. They're basically a, a copper-based blade, so it's rather than 100% steel with diamonds on, this is steel and copper and then diamonds on. So it, it wears quite quickly, but um, absolutely fantastic. Now they're quite expensive. Um, I've got that, it's like in a little case there, so um, that's, I'm not, not going to use that, but I think that was about 200 plus dollars. Uh, and there's up to our the cheapest products, but that is an absolute gem. I've got one here I want to show you that's half worn through. I've had this a, a little while. Um, there's also a uh, Montolit um, mosaic blade and it's it looks to be exactly the same blade as the Bezatza with a different um, stamp on it but, and then you've got you know reasonably cheap ones um, anything will work so I've, I've actually got a ceramic blade I'm going to show you as well um, it's really a matter of with glass it, it's to slow the blade down now we have got um, a noise issue here we just get a pair of glass 
mounted on. Um, you've also got glass dust, which is you know, extremely toxic. Please be careful with this. Um, and fingers as well. So, um, obviously, when I turn this on, you're not going to hear me. I'll, I'll perhaps turn the noise down on the, on the video. But um, I just want you to see the difference between having it fast and having it slow. So we'll do fast first of all, and that's with it turned right up. So there's basically what we just cut, um, but there's a couple of them that have chipped and a couple of them that have sort of broken before I've cut through the thing. And they won't slow it down now, so do you have a listen? Now, I sort of scored it first of all, and then the blade went deeper. Um, so we've got a lot of a much sharper uh, cut. The tiles are no longer sharp because you've, you've got to remember with a, an angle grinder, it's not a cutting tool, it's actually a grinding tool. So it's trying to grind through those tiles. And, and to clean it up a little bit, um, we can run that backwards and forwards. Now your fingers are getting quite close to this uh, this blade. So what a, another thing you can make um, is a strip of, I've got some aluminium uh, here, tubing, that we use often as screen bars. Nice. I've stuck a three mil piece of rubber to it. And it comes as a peel and stick from, from a place called Clark Rubber here. And I could actually put that where I want it to cut and run the, the cutter straight through that. Um, I can do it at an angle if I wanted to do. Um, and you, your fingers are a little bit further away from the, the tile, which is obviously a good thing. Um, but that's your Bazatza blade slowed down. But what we did discover, even though you, you might spend a lot of money on one of those blades, um, I've got just a normal ceramic I think this is a, a blue one, I don't want to mention any names, but um, so this again, slowed down, will do exactly the same job, almost exactly the same job. Now when you've got porcelain or glass, and if you have it fast and run it onto the porcelain, it will jump and chip, and then as you bring the speed back down, there's a point where it starts to grab. And I'd call that the, like the sweet spot for that particular either porcelain or glass. So there is a point that we can use this odd bit of off cut. Now I'm just going to set this, this blade at the speed um, I really want it at. I feel I've set this up nicely and we'll draw and we'll cut another line through there. Successfully cut that. It's not quite as good as one of these copper base mosaic blades, but it will do. It will do. The other thing I'm doing here is cutting on wood, and I can smell burning wood because the blade's obviously gone through the tile, um, and I'm not blunting the blade on another tile or on something else. 
um, and I'll sit this on, on wood and occasionally we'll need to brush off. Obviously don't do that with your hand obviously because it's this sharp glass there um, and eventually we'll, we'll have little bits of broken glass on here, there's a piece there. And if you try and position your the tile you're going to cut with a piece of glass under it, you get all these nasty bits and pieces. So I've actually got a vacuum here ready to suck this up. Um, keep yourself clean. Um, now, the other, the other way of cutting glass, or at least um, snapping glass or, or shaving bits off it, and I've got a little, little demonstration that I'd like to do with you guys. Um, I'm just going to do a curve. So I'm going to just set this up to do a curve. I've got a pencil there, but uh, I've been finding these, these pens absolutely fantastic because you can actually mark something and the, uh, the water doesn't take it off. And then we, when you finish with it, you can just rub it off and it's gone. So absolutely brilliant. I'm just going to mark this to, to try and do a little bit of a, a curve for you there, guys. I'm going to go back to my Bazatza blade. And there's a little bit of glass under that one. with the two wheels. Now those two wheels allow you to allow the pressure point to be right on where those two circles meet. Um, and I can snap these tiles just holding these this tool on them and popping them and I've got a nice flat surface. Now what does tend to happen now is of course um, because these are on not a traditional mesh, but they're on this uh, this uh, trend plus or, or hot melt with bazatta, so they they tend to stay together a little bit. I'll need the scissors just to to trim that as I go. Uh, just do that by hand now, and you can do it one at a time. starting to, to curve this round. Now this does, again, it leaves sharp edges. So what you don't want with, uh, usually in a swimming pool, you don't want the sharp edge tile sticking up. And you've got naked bodies and, and all kinds of things going on in a swimming pool. You certainly don't want sharp tile. So one of the, the nice ways I find is to cut it or at least grind it with one of these tools is I can actually take that sharp edge off as I cut it. So again, um, be aware of the noise. 